Welcome back, artistic family. Glad you guys are here to join me. Today I'm doing a gorgeous galaxy pour, and I cannot wait for you guys to actually watch this creation process. It is mesmerizing, super satisfying, and the results are stunning. So my paints are thick, which are their amount, and they're all the same consistency. I wanted my paints thick, and for me, I think they should be thicker for a straight pour and a ring pour. It does depend on the type of design that you want, but if you are looking for your paints to not over blend, and you want to have the strong presence of the colors and to keep their vibrancy, and you want to have more control over the design and composition, the thicker your paint is, the, the more you're going to be able to control that factor. Now, I don't mean thick where it doesn't flow, but this is a mound as opposed to my usual slight mound or let's say a pearl pour or dutch pour consistency. So as I mentioned, guys, I'm going to walk you guys through what I'm doing here and why I'm doing it. So I layered my paints with some custom mixes Details are in the description. And when you layer your paints right and create the right values, is what they call it in abstract art, you get depth. And you can clearly see right here the gorgeous depth in a few places, but prominently down in that left corner. Stunning. So what I'm going to continue to do throughout the pour, you will see this. It would have been about a 30-minute video, but most of it's in times two or times four may not seem like that because I was going super slow. And I've said this many times, slow and easy wins the race. Sometimes when you're doing a certain pour, it, you can go from corner to corner. However, when I'm looking for a specific design, um, it's important for me to go slow and take my time. When you're actually creating the design, rather than choosing, for example, a ring pour, a traditional ring pour, it, it basically is the design once you pour it. So I'm wiggling or walking the paint back and forth on the canvas. And again, I'll do that throughout. And what that does is distribute the weight of the paint to where I want it to go. So that way I can manipulate it. And up at the top, I have that gorgeous border that's surrounding the whole design. And I don't want to lose much of that. And I also want a lot of black negative space for the contrast with the gold, which intensifies this design. So that's why you see me do that. And I'll do that again back and forth, back and forth. I'll do it here, just spreading out some of the paint. And I really wanted to explain the process with you guys once, mainly because I just love it so much and I enjoyed creating it. For me, it's not just the result. Um, really, honestly, the addiction from fluid art for me is being able to just be super creative, let my creative expression flow, and I'm in love with the whole process, literally. The tilting, 
the watching the details form, the effects pop up, um, how you can manipulate the canvas, how the paint flows. I just love it. And if anyone is struggling, it's always important for me to assist and help. And I do get a lot of questions and I do, I know there's a lot of frustration for people. So I really wanted to take you through the process. Now here with the black, I've done that for a few reasons. One, I wanted black negative space over on the side to, um, you know, complete the design. And I also wanted to create that gorgeous ring right there on the side. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy you guys joined me today. Please don't forget to like the video, to comment, to share, and subscribe and become part of the artistic family.